as I'm sure you noticed, outside is raining, so that's why we're starting inside today. Well, ambassadors, welcome back. Are you ready for this week's challenge? Yes. This week, our participating partner is the Fair Housing Council of Riverside County, an organization that for more than 20 years has been providing the area's residents with comprehensive services that assist them in obtaining housing without prejudice. With me today is Lisa Jarman, the Council's Home Ownership Program Manager. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you. And Mr. Jesse Limon, the Loss Mitigation Counselor. I'm so pleased to be here to help you with your efforts. In April of 2006, the Fair Housing Council of Riverside County began overseeing a tenant-based rental assistance program. The program was designed to assist participants with rental and utility deposits and first month's rent. We are happy to report that the program has successfully assisted 300 area residents avoid homelessness by enabling them to return to a stable housing situation. The Fair Housing Council of Riverside County shares the ideals of the Green Valley Initiative by helping to improve the quality of life for Inland Empire residents. Before you hear about this week's challenge, we have something important to take care of. I want each one of you to come forward and take a band out of this box. has the blue ribbon? I do. You are the leader of the blue team, and I want you to stand on this side, please. Okay. Who has the yellow ribbon? You are the team leader. Please stand over there. Ashley, you're the leader of the blue team, and Kim, you're the leader of the yellow team. Each one of you will choose your team members but you must first decide which one of you will go first. The one that chooses first has the advantage of getting the team member you want most. However, the leader who chooses second will end up with five team members rather than four. Keeping this in mind, which one of you will go first? Hold on, I think we should... Hold on. <laughs> you I don't know because I kind of want the five people. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> One, Somebody else call. Oh, okay, I'll go. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> so who's going to go first? I want Kim to go first. Kim, please pick your team members. Yeah, me and Mason haven't been on the same team yet, so I mean, it's kind of fun, but kind of sad, just because I think we'll, we could work really well together. But at least I know how he works. Jerry. Christian. I don't think I got like a bad team, and I don't think I got a particularly extraordinary team. from the start that I wanted Jimmy, Mason, and Jeff on my team. So everything worked out pretty well. <gasps> you guys can come to me. <laughs> when the teams were first formed, I automatically thought that the other team had an advantage because they have Mason and, and James. We're gonna win. You put the last two challenges in your face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that the new teams have been decided, let's find out what your challenge will be. Jesse? This week, your challenge is going to be to create a three-minute documentary of two Riverside families whose lives have been affected by commuting. Your film should focus on why commuting is an issue and the need for quality green jobs in the area. I like the, the fact that we have teams, but I kind of wish I knew the challenge before I picked the people because it's one or two people I wish I could switch out really fast. But. Would the blue team leader please come forward and get your team's video camera and information packet? It's interesting because um, I've been paired with people I haven't worked with really, so it's going to be interesting, I can tell. Would the yellow team's leader please step forward and take your team's camera and information packet? 
I know James wants to be a director, so uh, I thought that automatically gave him a, a heads up. The content of your packets contain important information about your designated family and the Fair Housing Council of Riverside County. This will help you get a good start in developing your documentary. Jesse and I will be around for two hours to answer your questions. Your deadline for this challenge is tomorrow at 5 p.m. Let's get started. I think our team is a good formation, but I do think that they have a lot of strong people on the other team. So I'm not really sure about things right now. I just need to see how my team works together. We have to make at least like a rough plan. Okay, okay so what's the first? Start, like, scripting. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do that could be that's gonna be easy so is, okay, is getting them to sit on the couch and ask them any questions. Oh, the no, like, everyone in my group has a lot of ideas, which is good. We don't have like someone that's not really talking. We can do a whole chain thing. The average person spends this many time each day in traffic. That amounts to this many times per month, this many times per year. This amount of and gas, amount and then they can't afford their bills. Yeah, it's like We don't really know enough right now to figure out what we're gonna do exactly, so um, it might be a challenge. It's gonna be a little hard. <laughs> do you guys have a mission statement? Yes, we do. The Fair Housing Council of Riverside County is primarily an anti-discrimination agency and its mission and vision is to promote fair housing for all residents of the community. Tying it in with the vision of the Green Valley Initiative and um, making sure that they accomplish the objective of the challenge, it's gonna be quite a task. Hey guys, here's our yellow team bands. Sweet. Oh. If we really need another camera, and if we're doing them, I'll have the next record. We don't need another camera. We can. What we can do is just film it, pre-film it, and then oh, like the just questions? yeah, film Mason doing the questions, and then we just add them together. yeah. We need to make um, a storyboard to give to the oh, editors. Good idea. We really, because that's like the biggest one of the biggest parts. I think Kim is a great team leader. She's not um, like trying to force her ideas down people's throats. She's very accepting and she supports um, everybody very well. Is the judging the, is it going to be mostly on how well we uh, portray the family's struggle and their story? Well we're just here to help out um, and be a partner with the Green Valley Initiative with the ultimate goal of you know, bringing in uh, green jobs, you know, having, uh, you know, jobs that are available in the Inland Empire so homeowners don't have to go out and commute. And I think the agency's proud of the fact that we're able to partner with uh, programs and projects and agencies and initiatives like the Green Valley. Thank you. Oh, Mason's kind of bugging me because he's like Mr. Genius and I don't want him to be as smart as he is because he's taking over, man. He's taking over. I'm not going to let him take over. Anyways, other than that, I think things are going well. So thanks for your time. Straight up! The house feels kind of lonely because I really miss Andrew. It's kind of weird without having him here. I mean, you know, there was actually food left over after lunch. It was weird and, um, I don't know. I kind of wish he wouldn't have left. It's whatever. He's, as long as he's okay. I'm just kidding. You want to put it on live? Please start here. It's 2 from HT. And basically, you want to make sure, like, get the, if it comes out on the voting, like, we pick the right people, and you want to make sure that like, you'll be on our side and stuff. Yeah, Final Four. I want to go Final Four. That's yeah. Right. Okay. So, you're down? Yeah. Secret Alliance! <gasps> Secret Alliance! Okay. Vote for me, America. Alright, so, Chris. There's no voting, is there? I don't know. I think it has something to do with us being team leaders and voting, so, yeah. you know, you're going to choose and I know I'm going to choose, right? Mm -hmm. Well, just in case we don't. <coughs> we do. We do? <laughs> That's not what she thinks. Right. <laughs> she's around, I hear little things. Everybody like, uh, uh, Why would I always want to talk about you, Joey? I don't know. If I did, it would be in a loving way. Why did she yeah. go, um, when I you? I'm taking a line to Jimmy. Making an alliance with Jimmy? You suck on me! Well, he I'm knew sorry. that. I'm really sorry because I kind of think sorry, you know already, so. Hello, my name is Anthony Riley, Special Projects Director for County Supervisor Gary Ovid. 
For about 10 years or so, I had the opportunity to work on various television shows such as Melrose Place and Living Color, and finally The X-Files. My time in politics has been very interesting. It's allowed me and afforded me the opportunity to work with at-risk students and introduce them to vocational skills training and film opportunities. Today, I'll be working with the ambassadors on the development of a documentary. <laughs> Is that the doorbell? This challenge, I'd say, is probably the most difficult yet, considering we have to fit um, a lot of information into just three minutes, and obviously planning a documentary is not easy, so I can tell it's going to be difficult. The camera really is a window, and the people that they're going to actually film or the people they're going to interview, they're kind of inside the window. They're inside of the whole process. But us as the viewers are actually disconnected in some way. We're on the outside looking in. So to be able to convey that, to be able to get the message across, I think is really key. We have our little title. We need to think of a catchy title, make it crisp and clear. Then we'll start, and then right after that, we'll start with the family, and, and we'll get like maybe a picture of them, uh, and we'll say how many people are in their family and all that. And then from there, that's when we go to the, to the um, transportation issues. I have a, a good idea of what our documentary is supposed to be, because uh, I kind of mess around with documentaries a little in my spare time. Do you get it? You get, okay. I guess. I I'm think, trying I to explain putting, this. I think we're putting a little bit too much thought into it because I think it's pretty laid out of what we're supposed to do. Okay, so the challenge is kind of fun, but I feel like we're going to do okay because Jimmy has some experience, but it's kind of annoying me because I don't feel like he's understanding what we actually have to do and he kind of thinks he knows everything about filming. But you know what? Whatever. What we're kind of looking at is whether or not you want to work to convey the message in a narrative form or whether you want to actually convey the message through kind of emotional uh, highs and lows and kind of getting the audience to engage themselves with the family to kind of understand that approach and be a part of what you're conveying. So. Mentor was very helpful. He, he really helped us lay it out um, what, what, what kind of what the audience wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> I never looked at you like, oh, Christian, that was a stupid question. <laughs> you really, you, I think you should start doing that. Really. Don't be rude. You think I'm being rude, I don't think you're being rude. You're being yeah, awful actually, direct, though. I haven't had a chance to work with any of the girls yet, and I guess they're not used to how I am. So uh, that might take some getting used to, but I'm not too worried about that. Things are going really well with the challenge. We basically have everything um, planned out, everything that we're gonna do tonight, we've already written out, and um, we plan to win. It's important, but we can't. Like, but it's not a it just, like, We have to like, have a short, sweet card where it tells what it needs to say about uh, GBI. But it can't take up like that much time at all. together okay right now I think it's a little uh, people are kind of button heads um, people don't know I guess how to get their point across but it hasn't really bothered anyone yet 
I didn't expect to be the team leader. I didn't I didn't know what the challenge was. It was really like scary, but now I'm starting to get into it. And I kind of wish I picked different people. Well, one person I want to replace because they're getting on my last nerve, but other than that, it's good. <laughs> You're the team leader. Ashley, you were picked as a team leader. I know you can be a great team leader, so step up and be one and stop being upset about who's on your team because you chose them. And by you doing that, it's putting you in a bad position. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Hi. Hey, how are you? Pretty good, come in, come in. I work for a college, I'm a college advisor. Um, right now the team is working very well together. Jimmy is sort of the film director, so we've all been supporting him and been happy with what he's been putting together. Just a roadie. <laughs> she does all the dirty work. Jimmy's kind of on my last nerve right now, but what can I do? He's probably the reason our documentary is going to do all right, but it's kind of annoying because he thinks he knows everything when he barely has done anything in film. So. I think this is really Jimmy's kind of thing, so yeah, because he's really good at um, like filming and editing, so I think he's really shining in this challenge. And then Mason is really good with interviewing, and then me and Jeff are really good with the families and getting them comfortable so they'll answer the questions that we need them to answer. I think it's going good. You know, it seemed to get off to a little shaky start just with, you know, getting the camera set up and, and organized. But after that, you know, they got right into it and started asking some very good questions, uh, very direct questions, uh, and got some real powerful footage. I wish they would be able to find success closer to home. Interviewing the family was actually a lot of fun, I have to say. Um, we got a lot of good footage interviewing uh, the people. Kind of, we had to work on our, uh, you know, kind of our interviewing techniques, and I think I think we did pretty well. So yeah, all all in all, I'd say it was a, it was a success. Take care. So you guys. Well, let me say something. <laughs> <laughs> he made it pretty clear that it wasn't it wasn't the whole financial issue, and that he was more upset about him not being able to spend time with his kids, and That's and the fact that shut up, and the shut fact up. that um, <laughs> him and his wife argued and stuff. And he wanted he, he wanted to <laughs> shut up. You guys suck. <laughs> I quit the team. I'm going to laugh when Kim laughs. It's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby, it's great. I think this is a higher level of difficulty. It's probably, I think, the hardest challenge that we've had yet, only because there's so many aspects of it, and I feel like it's in a shorter amount of time. So there's gonna be a lot of time managing, and so I think it's gonna be more difficult than the other ones. I really hope we're, we're gonna have the winning documentary. I don't wanna lose again, because it seems like I haven't been on a winning team yet, but we'll see, hopefully. I should understand that you expressed an interest in doing some of this yourself, is that right? Okay, so you feel free to click around, play in here. Just don't delete anything, that's the only, it's a cardinal rule. I want, okay, I want to, in the intro scene, I want to do the main road. I know, we're just over traffic. Okay. To be right over traffic scene too. That's cool. This one, this one. Yeah, I think we could get this film together in one day because I've put films together that are 10 minutes long in one day, even though uh, it's gonna be tough because we still gotta make a story. Um, but besides, besides the storyline and stuff, I'm sure we could, we have enough time. I'm confident that our team is gonna win. Um, it remains to be seen, obviously, but I'm confident, yeah. Oh, you know what, here. What do you want, what do you want? 
30 seconds to the line. Um, it was crazy, right? So we was, we was doing our challenge or whatever. I grabbed the clock off the wall and I was like, you guys, we have 30 seconds. So the editor got to work and he edited whatever he needed. He did it in like five seconds and then we got down to the wire. It was one second left and we had dragged it down and turned it in. And it was, it was close. You know, I'm famous for those close ones.